because I love comfort food like I like chili um chicken and rice those are like my top two I love me some chili but chicken and rice is so freaking good and shout out to the girl who put her recipe on tiktok because you literally helped me know how to make it because I wouldn't know how to make it without that so yeah I'm very excited about that um I'm cleaning my chicken in some chicken I mean in some lemon and salt water what do y'all clean your chicken in or do y'all clean y'all chicken? I know some people don't even clean it because it's like the process of like cross-contamination and stuff like that. But I be having a clean chicken because I really don't like cooking chicken. It's the my least favorite thing to cook. It, the tech, everything is just like, it cringes me. But chicken bus, it's like one of the best meats. Um, I kind of wanted to talk to y'all about the situation with the teacher that's kind of going around. It's really popular and it's getting a lot of backlash support on social media and i just wanted to tell y'all like what i felt about it and i want to know what y'all felt about it in the comments so if you don't know basically a male teacher is getting some backlash and some support for basically posting a video um of a bunch of his students which were all girls taking down his hair and yeah a lot of people are upset about it a lot of people are saying that they don't see anything wrong with it and me personally i feel like it's just inappropriate like point blank i feel like there's no in between within it for me because i feel like in certain settings i feel like there are so certain boundaries that just shouldn't be crossed like that's just my stance on things like that's like i can't think of a scenario but i just feel like it's just overall it's inappropriate and i feel like there's certain boundaries in place for a reason and i feel like as a man you should know there are certain things that just shouldn't be done because even if you didn't have the intention for it to come off the way that it came off you should know certain things can't be done because of you get what i'm saying like there are certain things out there that just shouldn't be done and we do have to protect the children and especially little girls and little boys shit from you know predators and things out there that it's so easy to be like overlooked in situations because we could feel like something is coming off as innocent but whole time something was going on underneath the surface you know what i mean so i don't fault people for like voicing how they really feel and like standing up against that because i feel like we need more of that like right and right is and wrong is wrong and some things like to me that's just unprofessional like regardless we shouldn't be doing hair in the classroom we should be teaching we shouldn't be having these things being done in the classroom there's other ways to build relationship with relationships with students but other than teaching them i don't feel like it should be this super personal thing you know what i'm saying like you're a child i'm an adult at the end of the day we'll never be friends in the real life we'll never have you get what i'm trying to say like i think things i think we kind of live in a day and age where because the younger generation our generation we're kind of more young and free and fun that we're kind of blurring lines that i don't feel like should be blurred like i still feel like i'm i'm for a lot of growth in certain areas but i still feel like a lot of core things should still be in place 
So for me, I think it's inappropriate if I walked in and I seen my child playing in anybody's hair, especially a grown man's hair, I would feel a certain type of way about it. And I know mama would too. I would have got my ass whipped because what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? And it would have been a problem with the teacher because it's like that type of behavior is unacceptable. What are what are we doing? You know what I mean? So I don't know. That's my opinion. I feel like the support is, I don't really understand that side of it, especially like seeing the person like and seeing him and seeing him, his videos and stuff like that. Like he doesn't come off genuine to me. Even when he po he posted the video like crying and reading things that his his teachers I mean <clears throat> reading the like notes that his like students wrote him from all of this going on and I just I just didn't it just didn't like seem genuine and now it's more things coming out that you know kind of hints that he is kind of creepy or preying on younger children so I don't know I just feel like certain things are in place for a reason and there's certain lines that we shouldn't cross like. I wouldn't put myself in a situation if I know I'm working with children, I know pedophiles exist and there's certain things that people can perceive you a certain type of way for. I'm not doing those things. That's going to make me stray away from those things 10 times harder to, you know, not have certain people looking at me a certain type of way or certain things placed on me that are just not true. So, and I feel like he intentionally posted a video because he like, let's check, let's check the internet up. Like, because he was getting a backlash from it from doing it like on stream. I don't know. I just feel like I just feel like it was wrong. Period. But I'm about to cook. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. Um and what side you were on. I'm open to hearing y'all opinion on it and what y'all think and how how would y'all feel if your child was in that situation? How would you how do you feel overall just without you being inside of the situation? And yeah. Okay, y'all, I just got some Shake Shack because I am literally starving. I just got the Shack Burger. I don't know if y'all can see. I get it with just the lettuce and the cheese. I take the tomatoes. I don't like big old tomatoes on my burger for real. And then their fries. Y'all, I recently have been getting out of this little, like, creative funk that I've been in. I've been struggling. I kind of hit a patch where, like, I haven't been really motivated. I feel like I've been losing myself in my content or not showing up completely as myself in my content. And I feel like it's been kind of difficult. I feel like when you do, when you do create and you are creative, sometimes it's so hard with like consuming and seeing other creators because I feel like you naturally struggle with like comparing yourself or um feeling like you have to do one thing or like this is the right thing that you should be doing in order to get results or engagement or things like that so I kind of like having coming out of that and it's been feeling good because I love when I show up just as my genuine and authentic self in my content. And I'm just creating the content that makes me happy. And sometimes I feel like it's so easy to get wrapped up in the analytics and like politics of certain things. But I feel like it's so important to make sure that you stay true to yourself and you're creating and stuff like that. So it's been feeling good how I've been posting and the direction that I feel like I'm going to start going in and the things that I know I want to do strictly based off of like myself and no outside factors but yeah I just wanted to share that with y'all because it's not always easy like I'd be super discouraged sometimes I said that in my last vlog um and it's a lot it's a lot of things that play a lot of roles and content creating honestly y'all know that i said this year i'm going to be learning and practicing doing my makeup so we're gonna go ahead and get some practice in for today um i practiced the other day and i didn't necessarily like how my makeup turned out but we just have to keep practicing so i'm going in i already did my skincare for the morning i'm going in. if y'all see me looking this way the mirror is this way and if y'all see me squinting i can't see because my contacts are not in um so 
yeah i don't know how i'm gonna do this anyways but we'll make it work um but i'm gonna use maybe my little mirror i don't know but um somebody told me to go in with pines as my moisturizer so i'm gonna try that out and then i got a sample of urban decay's um primer so after i let this sit for a little bit i'm gonna go in with the primer and we're going to do a nice little beat i usually have been practicing with um going in with my fit me foundation but today i think i'm going to do like a concealer makeup look and not a foundation makeup look so i'm going with my concealer i'm going to use my concealer as like a foundation base and then go in with my lighter con concealer and then see how that turns out so let's hope it turns out cute um and yeah so okay y'all so i literally had to go put my contacts in because it wasn't gonna work any other way i would not be able to see um i actually just need to go get my little mirror though because it's still gonna be hard for me to see so give me one second y'all right now i know y'all probably like i am really like calm i'm not i wouldn't say i'm calm i'm waiting on some good news right now and it's like taking a shot to my body like i'm so nervous and I'm just trying to keep myself distracted and keep moving. But that is very difficult to do because I just hate waiting processes. Like, I hate the waiting process of anything. Like, I don't know. I just hate um, waiting, but that's the name of the game. So, right now I'm waiting for some good news. And, yeah hopefully my makeup turns out cute today um and we'll see in the vlogs do you guys like more talking like when i'm doing something and i'm like talking to y'all do y'all like more b-roll more visuals let me know what you what you prefer in the comments um and yeah but i'll talk I'm, I'm learning how to multitask. I still get multitasking, like doing something and talking at the same time. Shout out to the girlies who have that down pat. Because there's some girls, they be going hard. Like, they be doing the task and they be telling the whole story and remembering where they were in the story and, like, not losing their train of thought. I be having a focus, okay? But yeah so that's what i got going on right now y'all i'm waiting for some good news and i'm just trying to keep busy and keep moving so that it doesn't like cripple me just focusing on the outcome of that but that's all i'm going to say about that um how are y'all doing how are y'all feeling what's going on with y'all i've been really busy um i've been trying to stay really focused and um just trying to keep uh, going with my content and staying motivated and I'm honestly kind of I've gotten out of a funk and I've been in a really motivated space um, of creating so I'm very proud of myself for that um, how do y'all feel do y'all do y'all be cutting y'all family off do y'all I want to know because me I'm gonna cut people off every time like if you are not bringing any value to my life and if you are if, if you're not bringing value and you're trying to bring me down i can't be around you so i'm definitely quick to cut people off who do not serve um a, the, a greater purpose like i just feel like it's so pointless and this is my personal opinion and just my outlook on things but I feel like it's so pointless to be around people who don't pour into you. Like every time I go around somebody, I have to worry about if I'm going to be attacked or if I'm going to leave and have to get a bunch of negative emotions off of me. I just feel like I will protect myself and my energy and what it is that I have going on and not be around you, period. Some people, you know, they're like, this is my family and they just would rather um keep them around and i don't feel like that's a bad thing either i feel like you do what works for you 
but I feel like that is what works best for me because I feel like it hurts me more going around people who are treating me in a negative way, you know? Okay, y'all, so this is how my makeup turned out. Not too bad. But one thing that I'm realizing on this journey is that although I like to see girls do their makeup and their makeup content, that doesn't mean that I have to take it and apply it to my life. I've never really been a makeup girl. I've only worn makeup, like, on occasions. I'm really just more so a natural skincare girly. And this is just your sign. Like, you do not have to. Anything, everything that you see and you like, you don't have to apply it. You can just consume it. I'm not gonna lie. This week has been a rough week this week been kicking my ass i'm not gonna lie it has been the most bad things happening good things happening week like it's so much shit that's happening that's been happening negatively but then it'll be like something positive will happen like right after and it's been like so hard to like imagine something bad happening are you like okay i'm gonna be in the emotion of this but then something good happening like right after it's hard to balance like what emotion to be in because there's so much shit feel like it's falling apart and then it's feel like so many good things are coming together so this vlog might i don't know but this is real this is raw this is my life and yeah I was hoping for some good news from something that I was doing and I didn't get that good news. So, y'all, I was kind of sad about that. Um, but I'm kind of just like processing it a little bit and then like moving on, um, which is pretty hard because I was looking forward to it. I was looking forward to it, but it is what it is. Um, and then I was kind of sad about like family stuff like certain stuff has been happening had that going on from what i wanted then some family stuff happened which like kind of like really made me sad and like sent me then my skin is like i'm like breaking out in hives on my face you cannot see it right now but my skin is like breaking out in hives and it was a bunch of just like bullshit happening left and right and then on the other hand, I've gotten some new collaborations this month. They reached out to me, which is really, really excited from a really big brand. Um, somebody that y'all, everyone knows. It was just, that's very exciting. Um, I got that today, actually. And today was a really, really difficult day for me. I was so sad today because, y'all, it's been a lot going on. Like, I look crazy. I feel crazy. I'm still trying to get my energy together um i'm still just trying to recover from everything that's happening so that i can be in the good like i'm pushing being more so in the positive because i feel like a lot of positive things are happening and i feel like sometimes in life you just be having to say fuck the shit that ain't working out and keep it moving but most times that's pretty hard to do so that's where your girl is at y'all this week is kicking my ass okay but i'm still being active i still have a lot of things that i have to do i'm not really letting up this month because i've had so many great opportunities coming in that you cannot take my foot off the gas so i'm trying to get my energy right as best as i can um it's so difficult but i'm really trying to get my energy right trying to stay motivated trying to just stay in a positive space and not let the negativity take me out because people be trying me and you know but okay y'all ignore the rumbling of the fire trucks i don't know what's going on but i'm gonna mind my business and continue to tell y'all the story so one thing about it i'm gonna tell y'all what's going on with family so basically well i'm gonna tell y'all a little bit of what's going on with family so basically um i'm a person back backstory i'm a person who i'm really big on respect i'm really big on boundaries i'm really big on energy i'm big on a lot of things and i'm a person who my personal belief is if you um 
if you're not aligning with that and you're crossing boundaries, you're not respecting me, um, you're doing the complete opposite of the things that I stand for, I'm going to cut you off. I don't care who you are on the total pole. Like, that's my thing. People, I'm never, like, going to sit and tolerate certain stuff that I don't deserve. And I feel like the reason why I'm like that is because when I was younger, I was just a person that tolerated a lot. And I really didn't have a choice because you're kind of stuck in certain situations and environments. So being older, older, I've learned to, I've learned how to like speak up for myself, vocalize certain things. And it's like, I don't go for certain things. So for me, I feel like when you have a light and when you have a purpose and when you have accomplished certain things and you are doing doing certain things that you know people aren't doing um i feel like people get angry by that and i feel like people want to like make you hate yourself like in the in the simplest way to put it, I feel like people want to make you hate yourself. Like when you go around these people and your light is shining and you're you're walking in your purpose and you know who you are and you're happy and you're glowing. I feel like when you go around these people, they want to make you hate yourself. So what they try to do is bring up things from the past. Sometimes they lie about the past. Sometimes they just bring up things to try to make you feel low about yourself and attack you in any type of way. And for me, do you see her anywhere? news flash you're not gonna because baby i'm gone like the wind i do not play when it comes to that because with everything that i want and what i'm doing in my life it's so important for me to know who i am know my purpose and know what i'm walking into and i cannot be around people who don't want me to operate in that type of energy and who don't want me to win um because they want me to be in the inner energy that's low vibrational and it's just like for what so it's like for me it just be like when you go around certain people you don't feel love you don't feel support you don't feel anything but like negative emotions and it's like nobody has the time to deal with that so a lot of people just be having to get cut off and it sucks because you be like damn this is my so-and-so this is my da 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 and sometimes life does get a little bit lonely but it's like i would rather have peace than to have people making me feel like shit i've spent a lot of years in my life feeling low and feeling like shit and feeling emotions that were not even a lick of true because of these same people so why would i allow that to happen in my adult years what the what the look is like what the f <laughs> what no it's not happening it's not happening and then it's like i hate how people how you get treated when you stand on business or you you know what i'm saying you respect yourself people look at you like you're crazy but they don't sit there and see every time you come around somebody is attacking you somebody is antagonizing you somebody is pushing you to come outside of your character or be some type of way that you're not like y'all get what i'm saying like do y'all be having that type of problem like it's it never it never fails and then it's like a recent situation where somebody in my family they reached out to me but like the way people reach out it's like it never gives genuine like it never gives oh i'm reaching out because i care about you i'm reaching out because i really genuinely want to make sure you're x y and z like i feel like it just be so messy and it be like I somebody always wants something like in a bigger scheme of things like somebody always wants something and they try to mask it and by the text message it just be seeming like it be clear as day like I don't know that's all I'm gonna say on that but yeah it's just like it's just not giving that for me and I'm not a person I'm sorry I prioritize myself over other people and I went years not doing that and it got me nowhere it got me no credit it got me no cool cool points it got me nothing but insecure um but yeah y'all so much is happening i didn't try to keep saying this but the last thing i'll say is like i don't like people that are not genuine i don't like going around people feeling low and i damn sure do not like people trying to tell me who i am when it's like you don't even know me you cannot tell me who i am you don't know me so there's that but i don't know do y'all be experiencing that like do y'all be going through certain things like that with y'all family like 
anybody can anybody relate i be feeling like nobody relates to that like i be feeling like it just be me but i don't know let me know what y'all think in the comments also do y'all um cut like family members off or like are y'all people who is just like no matter what like you know i'm going to be around i'm going to be doing this this this, this and that x y and z like are y'all those type of people or are y'all the people that's just like no i gotta cut you off for my mental health for my peace for my sake um which type of person are you let me know in the comments as well but yeah i hope my week continue to get better because i cannot do the negativity i cannot do the other stuff so hopefully it continues to get better if y'all are having a great week i love day for y'all drop some love in the comments for me because your girl needs it